TBC will have something, I think, to meet Endwalker. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not uh, not much from Blizzard to it's compete. It's going to be the like we we're saying earlier about nine point one point five being more keeping people instead of bringing in new ones. Yeah, that's what they'll have to do with TBC Classic, and that's you know, I think they may have wounded with all that drama. They may have wounded some of the people who will jump into it on June first or June second, whatever. But uh, they need man. to learn public relations. It, it continually blows my mind, like how bad blizzard are at pr yeah. you'd think that being such a you know outwardly community facing company they would have got good at this but they're basically awful at it well that's the problem <laughs> if you're not inwardly community facing then all the messages inside will be garbled and not for players so it's a case where if, i feel like a good social media and pr person is basically like opening a little window into the company at the best of times yeah. And going like, oh, look what we're doing internally. Isn't this really cool? Wouldn't you love to play? They, you know, they close the curtains again. But if you open the curtains on Blizzard and in inside, they're not constantly striving for community purposes and all that stuff. And they are, you know, like largely being run. Well, this is not really true, but a lot of like the drama being around monetization. Mm. If that stuff's happening internally and they're not like super hard fighting internally. So we don't feel that. All we feel is the corporate PR side because... Yeah, well, sure, remember even on the, on the topic of boosts, there's like mm -hmm. a, there's a 2019 interview where one of the pretty important people from the Classic team said they're not going to do boosts like because they want to ruin the feel of Classic. That was in uh, Reddit AMA. There we go. Do you, so, do, do you know who it was? No. It was John Height. John Height who said pretty that? pretty sure it was John Height. I'm not 100%, but I'm like 95% sure it was or John Height. Maybe it was an, at least it was perhaps an AMA where John Height was one of the people working yeah. it in the Blizzard side. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure it was his, uh, his name. Oh, gotcha. Uh, actually, let me well, just... Well, you know, in that case, it's pretty yeah. awkward being like, this date? We won't do this. This yeah. date? Money, please. But then Classic uh, and know. Classic TBC aren't the same game. Ah, yes, you know, the, the TBC experience where... Um, yeah. That's it. No, it's just they're making it authentic, like with, uh, you know, being an eBay player. Right? Because that's yeah. what we used to call it <laughs> ba back then. You know, we're like, exactly oh, yeah, you're a fucking eBay hunter. Yeah, that's exactly There was a lot of eBay hunters. A lot of I'm people sure. who mained and leveled their own hunters are also basically the friggin' skill of an eBay hunter. <laughs> hence, uh, hence mm. the incredible reputation that my main class has got. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Oh, beautiful. Nice one. Yeah. So, hmm. that is essentially our situation with there being no BlizzCon. I think for the other Blizzard games, people already know what's, yeah. what's going on there. Mm. Uh, I mean, there is uh, potentially the, the WoW mobile games. Uh, yeah. They could be announced during Games Fest. They could be announced during like a PAX or a Gamescom or something like that. I don't think they will announce them at a BlizzCon where they would be a mainline announcement. I think they only do them at a BlizzCon where they have a like a WoW expansion announcement and then they can talk about the mobile game after where people will feel like their main appetite's been mm. sort of met. Yeah. So that's basically the situation. Yep. But... Before we go to our next topic, ah. uh, very secretly, scarily. I mean, I am I am genuinely being, like, ingenuous with this, or like, disingenuous with this. Yes. <laughs> I'm being disingenuous with this because this is a lot of, like, kind of, like, uh, monthly events and stuff. But it's just the idea where, like, when's all this content coming out? And then you go, there's, you know, there's FF14 at FanFest going, uh, here's our schedule until Endwalker, by the way. Yeah, and so I'm thinking of like 5.55, hmm. that's more MSQ. That's more MSQ, a bunch of updates and extra content for existing systems and things. So more stuff right. for the Bajan Southern Front, which is a whole big system in and of itself. Uh, extra, I think, no, uh, extra relic steps for your relic weapon, which is a weapon that you upgrade throughout uh, an expansion. And it's a massive, massive grind, but it's a kind of North Star thing where you're spending hmm. a lot of time. And it's basically the nicer, the nicest looking one that you will kind of replace with, replace with patch weapons or content end game content weapons until you upgrade it later later stage, uh, and then make it rain. I is just uh, uh, I think that's I actually don't know what this is, but I know it's related to the uh, Manderville Golds. Right. Manderville so is, Golds is that Saucer. content? So this is some light amount of content. So light is basically so not is, much. Yeah. So I would say it's similar in concept to woe seasonal events just significantly better oh, okay. because i remember uh it's around valentine's day they do little ladies day which is uh just a little thing of like almost like orphan like children's week in uh the, in woe but it has a really nice attached quest line and you end up going around helping all these like little orphan people and it's really nice but anyway and then 5.57 5.58 
We don't know what's going to be in these. Okay. But it is largely just smaller updates to existing systems, kind of like going, okay, we'll we'll let we'll loosen lockouts, we'll loosen lockouts, stuff like that. We'll loosen restrictions on current end game content, things like that. And then Moonfire's Moonfire Fair slash the Rising is another one of those events. FF15 collaboration is just get some rewards. Get you know? a car. <laughs> yeah, it's like go do like go speak to these characters, go run your do your daily content and get rewards get like unique currencies while this event's active trade them in for this because that's what they did over fan fest you i think it might still be active but there's certain things you do that you just do your like daily content and you'll get this currency and you can go to a specific vendor and go oh, here's mm. limited time rewards for playing while this is active and then obviously november is endwalker yeah, which is, uh, I think, probably, well, literally, what, 30% more story content, according to Yoshi? Uh, Yoshi P has said that to PC Gamer, and also said everything, <laughs> basically everything has been massively upgraded, including combat. I saw someone uh, talk about, I saw someone talk about uh, PvP changes in Endwalker that are going to actually make PvP a thing. Oh, and I actually right. haven't looked into those, hmm. but, because uh, PvP is not really, a th it, it exists, but only in instance things, and it's not a super it's part story, of the yeah. game. Yeah, so that's uh, but there's the fact that like it is now their expansions out in in November, it's now May. We know everything that's yeah. going to come out. I, I think yeah. So it's mainly then a thing about optics where yeah. Blizzard looks not sure of itself, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Optics wise, FF looks at the top of its game, yeah. and with confidence from the team. Mm -hmm. And that's the sort of thing that like just the way that it comes mm -hmm. off to, to, to viewers, right? Like, yeah. FF, do, it does... I think even if you don't really like what FF tries to do, it yeah. probably still seems like they have more of an idea of what they're doing, and they have just got their stuff sort of down pat more than Blizzard do. I think even yeah. the people who don't have interest in FF could at least sort of analytically see how it would look that way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the situation. Yeah. Blizzard schedule, no BlizzCon, hmm. no surprises. No surprises. No surprises. But it did give us a very interesting interesting way to talk about their entire schedule. Yeah. Yeah. 